Good morning, everybody. Today we're working on lift gates. I was told that the lift gate was not working. Today I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to get the lift gate working again. So the first thing you wanna do when the lift gate stops working is to pull out the tray that holds all of the controls. Here's how you do that. First, you gotta remove this rubber cover. Be careful because this is gonna get really, really dirty. Then remove this bolt that holds the tray in place and then just pull this whole tray out. Now let's take a look at the components that control the lift gate. This is a hydraulic pump. It's supposed to be making a lot of noise. Right now it's not making any noise, it's not going up. This is the relay or the solenoid that drives the hydraulic pump. This is where we're gonna to begin to look for the problem. We're gonna go over this solenoid. This is what it looks like, okay? This is a relay that drives the hydraulic pump. On this terminal is where the DC voltage should be coming in and this is the terminal that feeds out to the hydraulic pump. When we apply DC volts to these two smaller terminals, it engages this and it bridges this and sends the high current DC from here to here down to the hydraulic pump. So the first thing we want to do is test to see if we've got voltage on the incoming lead of the solenoid. Okay, so we're gonna look for voltage right here first. All right, now we're gonna test the voltage on the incoming lead to the solenoid. First set our multimeter to read DC voltage. Take the black negative probe, touch the trailer frame, take the red probe, positive probe, and touch it straight to that, and we're seeing 13.21 volts. So we know we've got voltage on the incoming lead of the solenoid. The second thing we're gonna look for is the voltage on the control inputs. These are these two smaller ones. To do that, we're gonna pull these two contacts off and meter them, and you won't see the voltage until you turn the switch to engage the hydraulic pump to raise the gate. Now we're set up to test the control voltage. Now these are the two control leads that are coming into the solenoid. These are the ones that activate it. So right now we're seeing no volts on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna energize the system, and I'm gonna apply up. When you see up, there goes 12 volts right there positive. So we know that the 12 volts, the control voltage is making it down this lead right here. Okay, full stop. At this point, everything was pointing to this relay as being the problem. So I ordered another relay from the shop. Ta-da! We love the shop. While I was waiting for it to arrive, it was really bothering me that this relay had just been replaced. This is brand new. How could it have already gone bad? I was informed that the lift gate had recently been serviced and that this relay had just been replaced. So it made no sense that it had already gone bad. There must have been something else wrong. The next day, when the new relay arrived from the shop, I tested it. I took the two control inputs and connected them to the new relay and tested it by turning the switch. I was looking for the new relay to click, but it didn't. This is how you test the new solenoid to see if the control voltage is there. What I've done is I've removed the control leads from this solenoid and I put them on the brand new one. I'm gonna listen for this one to click when I energize this. Ready? This is the sound. You hear it? That's the sound it makes when it's energizing. Let's take a step back for a second. I remembered measuring the voltage on the tiny control wires, but now it seemed that that voltage was no longer there. So I set up to measure it again. To my surprise, the control voltage was not present. Intermittent voltage usually means one thing, a broken wire. There must be a broken wire that sometimes makes connection and sometimes doesn't. Something else has gotta be wrong if you've changed the solenoid just recently and it's no longer working. So what I kept doing was kept looking and what I found was I found a break in a wire in one of the leads to the control feed. This is the voltage that's coming in to tell it to go up and down. That wire was sometimes making contact and sometimes not making contact. So what I did was I cut it, shortened it, put a new connector on it, and now that, that break in the wire is no longer present. The problem here is all of this gets crushed back together and pushed back in and you have to very carefully put it together or else you're going to bend these wires and it gets really, really hot inside that little cage. So what we need to do is make sure that this gets put away carefully uh, so that we're not bending and breaking the wires when we push it back into the hole. That's what's actually happening on this lift gate is that you don't have a failure of a solenoid or a failure of a hydraulic pump. You're just having a failure on the control lead wire that's telling the solenoid to engage. 
That's all this was. So this is a problem that would have evaded any repairman coming in and just changing out the solenoid. Thank you for watching these training videos. Thank you for your feedback and have a good show.